so here i have my microsoft excel opened and this is the data which i am trying to do ANOVA test for machine 1, 2 and 3 and these are the values. What we have done earlier is we have done the manual calculation for this data. Now let us do the same thing using Microsoft Excel and for that you go to data and if you have not installed data analysis uh, go back and look at one of my lectures which will tell you that you need to have this data analysis pack activated. But if you have that, you can just click on this data analysis and then you are looking for ANOVA. And here you see three types of ANOVA, single factor, two factor with replication, two factor without replication. And what you are doing here is ANOVA single factor because the single factor here is machines. So we are just looking at three machines here. So with this, I press OK. Now this is asking me to give the input range. So I click here and select my input range and in my input range I have selected the header information as well. So once I have done that I come back and now it says that label in first row and yes I have my labels or heading in the first row. So my alpha value is 0 0.10 because I am doing this test with 90 percent confidence level and output will be on the next sheet. So that is all you need to do you select the one factor ANOVA, you put the input range, click on the label in the first row, identify the alpha value 0 0.10 and press OK. And what it does is here it gives me all the analysis which we did earlier on a single sheet. So I have machine 1, 2 and 3, there are 6 items in each of that, we know that there is a sum, average let us not go into that. What I am interested here is between and within. So, this is what we calculated that within was 28.33, between was 84 point something, degrees of freedom were 2 and 15, total degrees of freedom was 17, then mean sum of square is sum of square divided by degrees of freedom which gives me 42 here. Same thing for within as well ratio of these two mean sum of squares give me f value which is 22.26 exactly that is what we calculated and based on the confidence level this gives me f critical value of 2.69 for 90 percent confidence level and based on that if you look at this f critical and f calculated you can reject the null hypothesis and that can be easily seen by this one value which is p value p value here is 3.24 10 to the power minus 5. So, this is like another four zeros in front of this. So, this in fact would mean let me put that. So, what this mean is 3.24 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 5. So, that means another 5 so 0 0.00003 something which is far less than what we had as our alpha value which was 10 percent alpha is equal to 0 0.1. So, with this we can straight away reject the null hypothesis and that is how you do ANOVA using Microsoft Excel.